Hey Scorpio, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is video number two, okay? I just put out a Scorpio reading, which is for the first of the month, July, you know, 1st through the 15th-ish, just depending, you know, depends on how long. Some of y'all process this faster, some of y'all take longer. So anyway, it's about a two-week time span. I have called it Scorpio number one. This is going to be called Scorpio number two. They are not a continuation of each other. Or let me back up. This is not a continuation of Scorpio one. This is a brand new fresh reading, right? It's just a second reading for Scorpio because I wanted to get to the bottom of some things, right? I have Scorpios in my life. I have Scorpios um, all around me, actually, lots and lots of Scorpios all around me, you know, sun, moon, rising, all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to get to the bottom of a few things for my peeps. Um, so I put out an extra one. So my Scorpios out there, you know who you are, who need to get to the bottom of this issue. This is for you. So interesting because this one really kind of mirrors Scorpio one, but Scorpio two is more, um, Anyway, it's interesting. So just, just sit down and watch. We're going to do this real quick. If you'd like a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situations, 50 bucks. We'll hook it up with the link in the box below until August 1st. After August 1st, I will not be giving $50 readings on my YouTube channel anymore. So if you want to get on the list for the forever and always $50 readings, you must schedule your reading before August 1st, and then you will be on the forever and always $50 readings because after August 1st, no more $50 readings. Okay. All right. Um, and I'll explain all of that in some of the other videos if you cross watch. So, all right, let's get to the point. Okay. Scorps all up in your feelings with the ace of pentacles wanting to manifest a new opportunity but you have a bit of confusion going on about reuniting and reconciling and offering your love and a new opportunity to someone from your past this someone being some kind of an earth energy, right? They don't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but they take on the characteristics of that type of personality. Very grounded, calm, cool, collected, um, focused, project-oriented, whoever this is for you, right? So you have um, um, confusion when it comes to starting this up with this person again. And I'm going to tell you, uh, 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 plot killer here, they broke your heart in the past, okay? So there's some confusion, right? But you are preparing. You're preparing. You're having foresight. And you're getting ready to go off on a new journey and a new beginning in your life, Scorpio. You are about to go out on a Ten of Cups journey and uh, commitment right? So what, what you're doing up here, Scorps, is, is you really, um, you really want to offer your love and you want to offer a new beginning and a new opportunity to a, a queen of pentacles type of person, um, from your past, right? But you have some confusion and we're going to get to the bottom of that in just a second, right? So you have some confusion, <coughs> You're about to go off on a Ten of Cups journey, right? You want harmony, happiness, values alignment, and you want um, some commitment in your life, right? This Hierophant is talking about commitment. It is the card of Taurus. It could be talking about a Taurus, right? So just saying, if you're dealing with a Taurus, this is what it's talking about. If you're not dealing with a Taurus, it's talking about commitment, about to step off in a leap of faith into a Ten of Cups committed relationship, and you would like it to be with this Queen of Pentacles character from your past. The subject matter is a Two of Cups relationship, right? A unified love relationship by which Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, you would like to manifest a brand new beginning. King of Swords comes in and says that you have some decisions to make, though. There's some very serious decisions to make and some truth to be spoken, right? King of Swords followed by the King of Swords reiterating the same thing. You are going to speak your truth in regards to this situation, and your truth that you're going to speak, it revolves around hope, faith, purpose, and renewal of this relationship. 
because renewal of this relationship because at some point in the center of your reading here is the three of swords which is sorrow heartbreak grief pain and rejection which means this whole reading revolves around this three of swords at some point your heart has been broken by this person stabbed you in the feels with the king of cups and caused a massive tower moment in your feels, okay? So at some point in the past, this person that you want to reunite, reconcile, and renew a Two of Cups relationship with uh, has caused a lot of pain for you, a lot of pain. Who's caused a lot of pain? The Six of Cups person, this person that you want to reunite or reconcile with, right? Six of Cups is clarified by the Princess of Cups. This is the creation of a new beginning. Somebody that you see as the Nine of Cups wishes fulfilled comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Somebody that you very much would like to manifest a new opportunity with. And the Chariot says you're going to take action to do it. You're going to take action to do it. Knight of Wands, you're going to give some passionate messages about your desire to rekindle, redo, refix, re re this relationship, right? Eight of Swords, you're very, very caught up in your head, though, very, very caught up in your head about the King of Cups, about your feelings. However, because of this whole determination to do what we just talked about, rekindling this relationship, you are really breaking free from the mental prison that has kept you from doing this already, right? Coming to terms with your feels right there and the death card being Scorpio right? Coming to terms with your feelings and wanting to transform this relationship. Transformed your feelings, transformed your thought patterns, and now you want to transform this relationship. The Six of Wands comes in and talks about public recognition, victory, progress, and success. With who? With the Empress. There is so much Taurus energy in this reading that if you're not dealing with a Taurus or somebody who has Taurus somewhere in their chart, um, I would be extremely surprised. But nevertheless, if you are or if you aren't, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm telling you right now, the signs do not matter. Okay? So you want this with the Empress. You want to create abundance with somebody that you see as an Empress. This person has their feels in check. They have their mental in check. They have their passion in check. And they have their pockets in check, right? This is the whole enchilada right here, the whole package. And this tower moment in your feels and this transformation of your thoughts and your feelings, you, you now see this person as the Empress, Death again, Scorpio, Scorpio, death twice comes in and says that you want to transition, transform and change this relationship into a 10 of cups situation where there is harmony, happiness and values alignment inside a relationship, right? I'm going to go back here and talk about this too. The death card, this is inner purging, right? It's it's about inner purging as well. So you've gotten your, your thoughts and your feelings in order with your own damn energy, Scorpio. Wow, what a beast you are. I swear, Scorps, never cease to amaze me. All right, so that was kind of, I guess it is kind of a continuation a little bit. It's just a different perspective on the energy and the feelings that were going on in the first Scorpio readings. So I highly advise, I highly recommend, advise, listen to me, I advise you, Scorpio. No, I recommend that you listen to the Scorpio number one and then listen to Scorpio number two, okay? I guess you could do it and vice versa. That's all right too, but um, definitely listen to the other one so you can get a, a, a bigger picture and a, and a greater perspective of what's going on. All right, y'all, that's it. Namaste.